Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. I am Gusexy, and this is some more Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program, and yeah, so the last episode I left us off with, uh, what was it? The Mega Rover. Now, I did not really plan on just ending the episode there, but some stuff came up, I had to either cut the episode or there would have been issues, so I figured I would just cut the episode there, and also, I didn't want it to run insanely long. I'm gonna try, really, really, really try to make sure that these episodes don't run too long. I, I don't really try to make my episodes very insanely long, but, you know, things just end up happening, and, you know, one thing leads to another, and we're, we end up getting, like, a 25-minute episode. But, you know, whatever. I try. I really do try, and I'm gonna try to change some of the formatting. The one thing I've been really looking into is potentially doing some kind of... I, I, I have no clue. Um like an intro or something. I, I really don't know how I would do something like that. I am not very skilled when it comes to the editor and, uh, you know, messing around with that kind of stuff and making a intro. I, I, I'm going to try, but, uh, you know, it, it probably is not gonna... It, it'll probably be very subpar. Uh, I don't know. I, I'll have to take a look. If, if, if somebody, some kind soul out there in my audience wants to attempt to try to make me some kind of intro, I think that would be pretty awesome. But, uh, you know, I'm looking to jump back on the horse here shortly. I really don't know, uh, you know, the full, pretty much exactly how I'm going to do this, but I'm really trying to see if I can actually do this again and, you know, kind of do this at a more regular pace. Uh, you know, I don't want to make promises because every time I've said, oh, I'm going to be back, or I'm going to try to jump back on the wagon, I end up just kind of doing one or two episodes, or, you know, just kind of saying stuff and not really producing anything. So I, I really do want to try again and uh, really kind of put out some more content for this game and, you know, just pretty much give my own little spin on it. So hopefully once we get closer to our rover, it doesn't explode because it is having some issues with the Kraken and, uh, you know, I, I really don't know what else to say about that. It, it's just unbelievably annoying. Uh, the configuration of the solar panels is actually what it is. Um, it's the same, actually, the exact same bug um, with the older rovers that I used to build. Um, I'm just going to quick save here, just in case. It is actually the same bug where the solar panels just spin out of control and just pretty much destroy everything, including the rover itself. So, you know, it, it, there's really nothing it can be done. So that that is pretty much where I leave it at that. I, I really can't do anything else. And, you know, whatever. Um, if we can get close, and if this thing will allow us to actually land on it, then I will do so. But other than that, I probably may not be able to do it. And that has really nothing to do with me. That's just more of the game just saying, uh, I know you want to do something really awesome, but I'm not going to let you. Uh, at least not right now. So let's see what it's going to be when we get down closer. Mr. Doggy in the background, I why do, must you start barking the minute I push the record button? I have no idea. But the frame rate is back in the dumpster again. It really, I, the one thing I gotta say is I do turn down some of my graphic settings, but there really is nothing you can do with five, six hundred part builds that won't pretty much affect every part of your construction plan. So let's see if I can switch back real quick. Um, let's see if I can do a little floopity floop here real quick. All right. Um, switch here and hit one. Hopefully there's no problems. It doesn't look like it's moving around or anything, but you know, whatever. Um, let's see. This is looking pretty good. I, I, had to shoot this already one other time because the other time it did in fact destroy itself. So let's see what we can get here. I really don't, f I'm not very hopeful, but at the same time I got my fingers crossed. Um, let's see, we got the solar panels closed. 
And let's just hope she doesn't destroy herself. I don't see it moving or anything, but, you know, whatever. This is going to be pretty intense. I, I really hope I don't break anything. That's the one major thing I'm not looking forward to. And it looks like it might be moving right now, but I'm not sure. Come on. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of wiggling around. That's what she said. Um, come on. Yeah, it pretty much just vibrates in place. Uh, if I put the solar panels away, it doesn't destroy the rover. At least, I hope so. So, yeah, look at that. That is nasty. That is really nasty. You can see it kind of just wiggling around. Oh, God, that is not... That does not look good. This is what happens when you don't have proper planning with building. At least you don't know your materials well enough to know what's going to happen. Or at least you build some kind of craziness. Um, wow, that just looks disgusting. The Kraken is just trying its hardest. You can really get a taste for... Oh, wow. Just don't screw up my landing, all I ask. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Alright, um, RCS on, there we go. Um, nope, nope, not that way. Alright, uh, turn that on a little bit more. We do not need to keep descending. There we go. Um, RCS back on. We don't need to ascend. Just trying to get this set up to where I don't have to constantly mess around with it. Oh god, yeah, that, that's not the right one. There we go. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's pretty good. I, I'm fairly okay with this. Alright, let's get ourselves over here. The controls are a little bit wonky and backwards, but I think I'll be able to make this work. All right, just get this lined up really nicely. Now, this is just the a mixture of all the things you really don't like. Having the to use the engines as well as the RCS to kind of keep yourself on a steady balance, because this is pretty much just hovering, which in this game isn't really an easy thing to do if you don't know what you're doing, at least in some respect. Come on. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Now we just need to go over sideways and get rid of the rest of this motion here. I want to preferably land directly in the center, but, you know, whatever we can get, I am going to be very much okay with that. Come on. Come on. But, yeah, so hopefully this does not do anything too crazy. Um, if everything just kind of explodes, I'm going to pretty much just be okay with this. I, I really, there's nothing else I can do. So, I, I, I'm pretty much just going to leave it at that. And I had some kind of an issue. Alright, uh, wow, where am I going? Yep, 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 there we go. Oh, God, this is not going very well. Um, just bring this back over. Yeah, I ended up uh, hitting the wrong button in panic mode and um, ended up stopping the recording. But, uh, you know, hopefully, come on, swing it back, swing it back. There we go. Swing it back ever so nicely. Um, yeah, this rover is not liking any part of anything I'm trying to do. This really is kind of annoying. Um, wow, that that is actually very annoying. Um, let's just kind of let it fall down. And um, you know what, I'll just kind of push it over here a little bit. Maybe we can just fall ever so nicely. Or actually, um, wow, we are already pretty much on the landing pad here. This landing pad idea is kind of an old idea from uh, one of my older bases, and it, it does work if you do it exactly right, but, um, you know, for right now it really isn't showing itself exactly how, how it really isn't showing exactly how well it works um, come on uh, we'll turn the 
No, no, we'll turn the RCS back on. And let's see, can we get a connection? I, I, I'm really just trying to get the connection going. That, that, that is what we really need. Uh, come on. Uh, let's see, go to a little bit this way. Uh, yeah, we aren't lined up that well. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I, I really don't have the time for this right now, Ro Mr. Rover. Just give us what we want. There we go. Um, come on. Is it, is it going to do it? Come on. Make a connection. Make the connection we need and want. Please? There we go, connection. That is beautiful. Um, now, this thing, I am not going to be able to get that to settle down. Th that's just a whole pile of crazy I am not going to mess with. Um, Alright, so we are fully refueled here. And uh, we'll just kind of get rid of what we need. That is just silly. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it pretty much most of this rover, I didn't really cover too well of everything and I'm going to actually save this right here and hopefully nothing bad happens but you know for right now you know if nothing bad happens I will continue on but if something bad happens I'll just kinda show you guys what happened afterwards if not maybe do a slight redesign send it all the way back and you know start from there so I will see you guys in one second and I guess all it needed was a quick save that 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 is just beautiful so I am going to cover our Mega Rover, at least most of it, for right now. Uh, you know, I'll kind of start with the front here, which I don't even know who's sitting in the front seat. Uh, come on. Who is uh, Neldrin? Where is... Was it Neldrin? Neldrin? I, I didn't even see the name. I just know it starts with an N, and it looks like Neldrin or Neldrin or something. There it is. Uh, Neldrin? Yeah, we'll do an IVA. This is kind of what he gets to see. Uh, turn the lights on. I mean, it really... The lights in this game still need to be fixed, at least in some respect. That is pretty much what it looks like when you turn the lights on. It's just a glowing crystal diamond. It looks like the, uh, the a rupee. That, that, that is what it is. Oh, and then if you zoom out a little bit further, it looks normal. So we got a, a glowing rupee around the uh, rover here. And, uh, yeah, pretty much with all of that, we have our landing pad, obviously, that I just landed on. I, I put some, you know, little extra aesthetics and stuff. There are, we had a fairly big crew. Each one of these cans actually has one Kerbal in it. And then we have these side, uh, I, I, I Coppola modules. I, I, I just threw some Coppolas on the side. I, I wanted to just see what it looked like. And it actually came out and looked really cool so that is Ken Lowe and this is Ken Lowe so we'll do an IVA here and you know he kind of gets just a preview of everything but I don't know how I am going to control this rover and all that other good stuff um yeah I don't think I can actually control the rover I, I, I can I just don't want to um from there but you know whatever so the one thing I will say too is we do have some ion drives on here there's actually a fairly decent amount I put some on the top of this and that's mostly just to make sure that if this thing ends up getting up to high speeds the fastest I've gotten going is roughly I, I, I believe somewhere oh god nope no nope 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 um, the fastest I've gotten going with this rover is um, Roughly, I, I can't even remember anymore. I think it was like around 13 or 14 meters a second, which on Minmus is pretty fast, I do say. So, and these wheels are kind of slipping. Oh god, yeah. Um, these need to be all disabled if I'm going to be using uh the ion engines. So I am going to just. Put on the brakes for right now. We, we can move. It can move. I, I don't really need to prove that it can move. It has enough wheels. So the one of the coolest features, and this is something I took from my last rover. Uh, wow. Yeah, that was a little crazy. Put the gears down. Let's see if the gears actually reach the ground this time. I, I don't know what happened, but apparently they can't reach the ground anymore. So 
let's see. This is probably my coolest feature. My favorite feature is, uh, well, actually, we'll have to put the gears back up for this. So my favorite feature, coolest feature, is we do have a detachable rover that we can go and drive around and, uh, you know, pretty much just do whatever we want with it. The only issue is, is that I have not rebinded my controls, so I cannot actually even drive this rover around. But, um, you know, if you give me eh, just a second, yeah, you know, the only thing I'm worried about is I'm going to leave the game and then come back and then this thing will actually destroy itself because it's kind of a hit or a miss when it comes down to whether or not it is going to destroy itself. So we can just use the RCS for now. Um, turn the brakes off and then, you know, be successful with the R RCS. Let's see, how much RCS do we have? I don't want to really burn up too much fuel because then we won't be able to do the next thing. So let's see. Just, you know, go and drive around and do all your little rovery mission things, all your sciencey things if you have science installed, or well, you're on the, uh, the uh, career mode, which I am not, obviously. But let's see. Uh... Yeah, just get this locked up right here. And um, these are, in fact, activated, so we don't really have to do anything else. So I put these smaller, the RCS-driven engines on the bottom, and I thought it was a great match. It actually works out very well. It does support the rover, and it can reconnect itself, and it really doesn't use that much RCS fuel. There also is uh, spare RCS fuel on the uh, main rover here so it's got pretty much everything it needs this rover pretty much has everything it needs and it's a mobile refueling station that's on the surface so we got pretty much everything you could possibly dream of the only thing we don't have is a small docking port or I should say the regular size there's no small ones either but you know whatever but yeah so this is a rover slash landing pad slash mobile base slash everything you could possibly dream of and need on the surface of a another moon so anyways guys um if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to all you new people welcome and uh yeah i will see you next time